Hey team, uh, so just a quick uh, overview of how you can set up the new purchase event that we've created. Since I don't have access to your Shopify store, I can't do it for you. Uh, but the first thing that you're wanna that you're gonna want to do is go into settings and then go into customer events, uh, and then just add a custom pixel. You're probably gonna have custom pixels here as well, so we'll just call this Google Purchase, uh, and create that pixel. So just add it to your store. I'm sending the code separately in an email. So what you're going to be putting in here is this code that you're seeing me copy paste right here. So copy paste this right here for the permissions. You want to go uh, not required. And then for data sale, you want to put data collected does not qualify as data sale. So once you've connected this, you're just going to need to actually hit the connect button. Uh, well, first, you're going to have to hit the save button. Once that's created, you can hit the connect button and then it's going to be connected to your store. That's thing number one. Then thing number two, just because I don't know whether or not you already have this implemented, uh, you want to close this and go into your online store. You want to go into themes, customize the theme, and then just do the edit code option. Uh, we need to put the Google tag onto the website as well. It should already be implemented because you do have that Google Shopping app purchase. But if it's not, you just want to put this other little bit of code that says Google tag that's going to be uh, included in the email. And you want to put it at the end of any script. So you want to have it between the two head tags. You want to have it in the head section of your website. Let's say, so this is the first script. Let's look for an ending of this. Uh, and I'm just going to put it before the end of the head tag. So that this is where the script is ending. I'm just going to put it right over here. And that's it. Once you've done that as well, just hit the save button and uh, you're going to have the new conversion event set up on the website and it's going to start tracking. Uh, super simple, but if you have any questions, if you need any help with this, just send them over my way. I'll be happy to help.